Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ciphering Weather. In today's video, we'll provide you the latest updates on Hurricane Ernesto and the impacts it's bringing to Bermuda, but also the east coast of the United States and eventually at Canada. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So we're looking at the latest satellite image of the Atlantic Basin thanks to tropicaltippets.com for Friday, August 16th, 2024. The black arrow is pointing towards Hurricane Ernesto. It's on approach towards Bermuda as we speak. And we're starting to see some of the impacts from the outer bands affecting those islands. And then we have three tropical waves in the main development region, one of them actually approaching the Caribbean islands as we speak, but it's a very small, insignificant tropical wave just bringing some gusty winds and some rain to the region. You can see the vorticity signature associated with those three tropical waves down on the bottom right of your screen, as well as the intense tropical uh, vorticity signature from Hurricane Ornesto on the middle of your screen. So here's the latest satellite image of Hurricane Ernesto. You can see its eye is struggling to appear as we're seeing a lot of wind shear coming from our system coming out of the southwest going up to the northeast as uh, Hurricane Ernesto starts to interact with an upper level trough. So some of that wind shear is making this storm a little bit lopsided in terms of its uh, sym symmetry, uh, which is actually a good thing because it's keeping this storm from intensifying any further. <clears throat> so right now we have winds of 100 miles per hour and it's moving north northeast at 14 miles an hour. And, it, and like I said, we're not expecting this one to strengthen either, any further. And in fact, this is probably the peak intensity it's gonna see. It's gonna start decreasing in intensity as we go out from here, from the increased wind shear and eventually after permissive Bermuda, we'll see cooler temperatures in the sea surface temperatures. So here's the spaghetti track guidance models showing where this storm can go over the next five days. And you can see that Atlantic Canada still has a chance for some direct impacts, but the majority of the models, I would say 90% of them now are showing that this will pass just to your south. So you shouldn't have to see any direct impacts, but you'll still see indirect impacts from wind and rain and high surf as this passes you by. Here's the model intensity guidance showing that it's currently a category two and expected to decrease in intensity from here on out. And here's the key messages from the National Hurricane Center regarding Hurricane Ernesto. You could pause this to take a chance to read it. On the left is in English and on the right is in Spanish. So let's look at the H wharf model, which is one of our hurricane models. And you can see where we are today. And we are at our peak intensity with a 967 millibar low pressure system. Bermuda, as you can see, is just starting to get the outer bands of the hurricane this afternoon as it approaches. And by the time we get to tomorrow morning, as you can see here, uh, the hurricane eye should be passing just to the west of Bermuda. You'll, so between now and tonight, you'll start to see the winds increasing, the rain bands coming in more stronger, and you'll be in the eye of the storm by the time we get to the early parts of the morning. And potentially, the westernmost portions of Bermuda could actually get into the eye itself where the, eye, the winds are calm for a brief period of time before the storm continues to pass to your north. So then by the time we get to tomorrow morning around, I would say around five in the morning, Eastern time in the United States, uh, you can see that the winds will already start to decrease at this point and just some lingering outer bands uh, from Ernesto will just be impacting Bermuda at this point. And you'll, you could start your recovery process by the time we get to Sunday morning. <clears throat> in terms of rainfall totals, we could see upwards of a foot of rain from uh, Ernesto as it passes by and then continuing up towards Atlantic Canada. Like I said, we're not going to see potentially any direct impacts with landfall, uh, with most of the models now saying it's going to be just to the south 
uh, but we'll still see those indirect impacts. And one of them is, you can see here, the rainfall totals in those blue starting to approach those purple colors. So we're talking probably around two inches of rain as this races off into the North Atlantic. The other impact that's being caused from Ernesto is the huge amount of waves it's causing in the Atlantic. I mean, these waves are peaking almost at 90 feet as this uh, storm continues to churn towards Bermuda and then into the North Atlantic. But along the East Coast and up into Canada over the next couple of days, you see those yellows. We're talking about a foot, like 12 feet, uh, 12 foot waves moving and propagating out from the center of this storm and impacting the east coast of the United States all the way from Florida to Maine and then extending up to Atlantic Canada by the time we get to this weekend as Ernesto gets closer to making potential landfall with Atlantic Canada. So let's see what the rest of the Atlantic is doing and we're going to use the GFS model from here. This is uh, the black hexagon again would be Ernesto and then our three purple hexagons or our three tropical waves with one of them bringing some in indirect impacts to the Caribbean islands this afternoon. High amount of wind shear in the Atlantic so that's why we're not seeing these tropical waves develop and that's also eroding away at their moisture as they continue moving westward with the Saharan air layer very present. So let's put the GFS model into motion and we can see over the next seven days because of that high wind shear we're not really expecting much development in the Atlantic at the moment. Uh, if we pause this at day seven we see two tropical waves that are going to be in the main development region. The one on the right will be the one we're going to have to watch because uh, in seven days time we're going to start to see the wind shear in the main development region start to decrease and you can see next Friday is going to be August 23rd. Anytime after August 20th that's really considered the peak of the hurricane season all the way through middle of October with the peak being in on September 10th. So we'll have to watch the main development region because this is where climatologically this will be our most active area going forward until we get to the end, the middle end of October when things start shifting back towards the west. And not to say that nothing can form in the western areas as well, but this is where all the tropical waves will be coming from and will be prime for development out here. As you can see, that tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa in a week's time looks to be rather large and impressive, so we'll keep an eye on it just in case. So here's the ensemble models showing where not only Ernesto can go over the next uh, few days, but also in a week's time, tracking that tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa for any possible signs of development. Right now, the models are a little bit weak on it, but we'll keep an eye on it just in case. And we'll continue, and like I said, we'll continue to monitor Hurricane Ernesto after it brings impacts to Bermuda starting this afternoon through the rest of the day uh, tomorrow and then from there on out Atlantic Canada th during the weekend. As a reminder we have super thanks available on deciphering weather so if you'd like to donate to the channel please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video if you liked it please hit the like button and leave a comment Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you do and like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.